Hello everyone. Welcome back. I hope you had a nice um, evening last night and I hope you enjoyed it. So today we want to, we started with our living room challenge. So this is your challenge for the week as well. So pick anything in your living room that you want to update or remake or um, review. Even if you just want to put a ribbon around it, that's fine. You pick something from your living room and you redo it and you update it and you post a picture on our page on Friday, I Leticia. So um, anything in your living room. This week is living room challenge. So what we've done is, let's move this thing and this, yeah. You want the other one. And there we go. So what we've done is we've taken our clocks. We've got big clocks in our living room. Oh, this is another heavy one. I did this a couple of years ago with nuts and bolts <coughs> and I used some some screws to be the the numbers of my clock. But now I think it's due for an upgrade. I just want to take it back so that you can see it. Get from your glass. There you go. And mom's got a similar one that she wants to update. So we're taking anything. Hi, Sarita. We're taking anything in our living room and we remake it for the living room challenge this week. So um, pick an item that you want to remake and then we do it together. Or if you're doing something different, craft with us um, while we go. So, yeah. Let's get starting. So today's painting. What are you going to be painting more? Don't you want a new brush? No, no, this is fine. This is a soft one. Okay, are you painting parchment? So, mom's painting in parchment. Ooh, there we go. Hi, Kim. Parchment from Petite Rouge. We're remaking our clocks in our living room. Because this week is the living room challenge. So there's a clock I'm going to be redoing. It has those nuts and bolts and screws for numbering. I want to take that off because with the glue gun it's actually fallen off on places already. And mom is doing this one. There we go. Okay. So this side we've got parchment. On my side I'm going to be using minty macaroon from Petit Rouge but I first need to dismantle my clock must I take this skin? no you can start painting already so I'm dismantling my clock I must just remember which one you see it's not straight anymore so I can bend it a bit and get it nice and straight again and then because I've only glue gunned with the nuts and bolts I'm just going to take them to see they actually just fall off. So it's time for a remake. Um, I had quite fun explaining to the guy in the hardware shop why I needed so many nuts and bolts. He couldn't understand why he could put this on a clock. Yeah, the parchment, everybody likes the parchment and the Duelet Dawn and the Chantilly Lace is also very popular. So I'm just taking off my clock digits which has been sticked on with glue gun. This is a type of dismantling. How have you been keeping? What have you been doing? You put Anita's goodies on. Yeah, Anita sent us some awesome photos of a backsplash in her kitchen, so I'll be putting that up a little bit later. And she also did a lantern. So here we go. So this is what I'm left with now. See all those blotches of glue? I'm now going to. Try and take that off. 
Well, you've got an easy one today. You're just painting and going. I don't want to do it for myself. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these screws. All right, so let's put it down. I don't know how am I going so to do it. So I'm back to the art school. <laughs> so I just use a normal uh, bread knife and I start taking off my glue. And it actually comes off quite easily. Like I said, I did this about two years ago. I still thought that was pretty. Yes, but I think it needs a bit of a revamp now. This is an old cable spool top. We've just put a little edge around with MDA to make this piece stand out more. One day I'm going to turn this camera around and show the people that you, what you are doing while I'm filming. <laughs> so remember your challenge for this week is your living room. You need to pick an item out of your living room that you want to revamp or redo. And um, post a picture on the page once you've upgraded it or redid it. That's just so that we can inspire other people as well. So it's no... It's no challenge or uh, it's no competition. So it's just to uplift other people as well. Post a picture of what you've revamped on your living room by Friday this week at 5 o'clock. Share it on the page. What I'm busy doing now is I'm taking off old glue gun pieces, which is a bit of a mess. Are you done? Do you I want to come past? Mom, you're, you're tanning yours for the first coat now? Yes. Mom did hers in parchment. Because it's such a um, light color, obviously on the black numbers, you're going to have to do two coats. So I'm just taking off the glue gun pieces. Hi, Adali. Hi, Anita. <laughs> You guys coming up now. Do you want to come I past again? Help you? Sure. You would need a knife. I think there's another knife there. On that. So this is the toughest job is getting rid of the old glue gun. So I just work it with a knife to take it off. Oh, that is off I think already Mom. Are you taking these? No, I'm not taking off the nuts and the bolts because I actually like that. So I'm going to try and keep that as it is. Um, we need the little bucket with the water for the brushes. Mr. Cameraman. <laughs> He's ignoring me. He's looking at me like... Really? Am I going to have to fetch it? <laughs> so I'm taking off the glue gun pieces. My... um screws were my numbers so it was glue glue gun on so now I'm just taking it off almost done and then I'm just going to give it a light sand this is an old um, cable spool top so there you go so this is what we have now. We've taken off all the glue gun pieces. Now what I want to do is I just want to lightly give it a sand. I've got my sanding block. So, sorry for the noise. just want to get it smooth everywhere. We added this round flat piece in and we added this border piece which is a MDF piece and then I mounted 
the nuts and bolts onto this. So once you've sanded it, remember to dust off any sand, any dust. I don't think this thing is so dust free. It was hanging on my wall for about two years, so I don't think it's really dust free. So there we've got, um, it doesn't look like a blank canvas, but it is a blank canvas to actually be painting on our new base color. So the color that I've decided to use, oops, if I can get it open. This is, I think, the second day of our workshops. You guys said use the mint, use the mint. Now, this is the minty macaroon from Petit Rouge. Oops, there we go. So, I'm going to be painting my base color with that. I actually like the edge as it is. So, I don't think I'm going to be painting this edge again. Um, I might seal it again, but I don't think I'll paint it again. But here we go. How am I going to do this? Because you guys, I'm hoping you'll see. See if there, can you perhaps just turn this camera a little bit down so that I can see what I'm doing? Towards this way. Thank you, Jan. <laughs> so I'm just basically giving it a cut of. What are you about, Jan? Ons Jan. Yeah. I said just buy a more. <laughs> so I'm just giving it one coat of the minty macaroon. Just want to see what it does. I did some um, wood grain pattern on this some time ago. So I'm just closing that up now with this paint. And just get one paint on, one coat on so that it can start drying. What are you painting now? I just want to dry brush this with a gold because I'll I'm show them what you are doing. Yes, I'm going to. Mama's doing something else while the clock dries. I'm just giving it a not to paint the circle. I'm just giving it one coat of minty macaron from Petit Rouge. Remember, we've got a living room challenge happening this week. So you need to pick something out of your living room and remake it or redo it and just post the picture on the page as well. Um, that's just to give some other people inspiration for projects they want to do as well. So you've got until Friday 5 o'clock to post your pictures and share what you've been doing for your living room. Last week we did the kitchen challenge. There were a couple of people that were a bit late with their pictures. But it's okay, we are adding them into the picks as well. Yes, Letitia, you've been liking this color ever since I opened it. So this is now the, the first of the color. Yes, yes. Letitia's color. Right, Mom? I'm going to just dry brush this with a little bit of Tell the, what it is. Petit Rouge Champagne. It's the, for the light fitting your switches. So I'm going to keep it white. I just want to put a little bit of gold here and there. And then I'll seal it and put it on. And now are you going to paint the dry brush or? Dry brush. Dry brush. So just explain to them how this dry brush I'm work. going to show them. Okay. Like we did with the stenciling. Okay. On your clothy. So you need an old rag. You need a stencil brush with a flat point or a round point. And then you just dry the paint onto your rag and you just brush how much you want on. Just hold it closer because I can't see it. You need to turn it like that. There you go. I don't want too much on. Okay, so we date you're busy with your bowl. I, I assume this is now for the living room challenge. What bowl? She's busy doing a bowl with resin and embellishments. Okay. I've actually 
actually gone over my line, so I've just quickly wiped it with a wipe uh, with a wet cloth. So this is my one coat on of minty macaron from Petit Rouge. Oh. I'm now going to put it outside that it can get some sun quickly. This is an old spool top that I had left. We just added the MDF plate and I added a lot of nuts and bolts. So we're giving it a bit of an upgrade. Is that enough? I don't want too much. I don't know. Let's ask the people. What do you think? Is this enough gold? More? Do we need to put on more? I think so. So this will come where a light switch is. So this is a... And this is from Rustic Bling. Let me put on nice, a little eh? bit more. Do you want to put on more? Yes, I think okay. so. So while mine is drying, I'm going to go back to that one little rack we did. You remember this rack? We did some cracking on it with Petit Rouge Cracker. At the bottom we used Midnight in Paris and at the top we used um, Botanique. So today I want to add an embellishment. Oops. So the embellishments that I'm using are from um, Rustic Bling and I thought this would look nice on it. But I, I let it fall in. So it's two portions that look like this. They're quite nice, eh? So I want to do this on the outside. <coughs> And where's that blue of mine, Mom? There on the corner? Is it not that? Dark blue. The midnight. There we go. So, is that enough? That looks a bit better, right? Eh? So, what do you think of this? I think that's enough. No, that more is more, less is less. You say more. But that says less is more. And I said, no, more is more. <laughs> I keep on messing up these transfers. So I, just want I think that's enough. Put them here. Okay, so. The embellishment I'm going to do in the dark color, which is the Midnight in Paris. And then I'll be dry brushing over it a bit. I let this drop last night, so I've broken it, Kim. It's not you, it's me. But I'm going to just glue it together and put it back on, and it should be fine. Hello, Chantali. Long time no see. Right, so, I'm just dipping my brush into my paint. It's the Midnight in Paris from Petit Rouge. And I'm just going over my embellishment with the paint, making sure I work it into all those little holes and nooks and crannies. So I'll show you once it's done. Now, if you remember, previously we did very similar embellishments. And what I did is I actually wiped some back with a wet cloth. So, um, there was a we put out yesterday that we, we made with the um, clay. Did it dry? Yes, I've actually got a sample to show you. I wanted to see if it could, it's paintable. Yes, they are paintable. But they do crack as well. So, these are the ones we made yesterday out of air drying clay. Rose. So you can, so, do you want to paint one of them and see? To see? Okay. With the parchment. So if we see if we can actually <coughs> change the color of the terracotta. 
So today we're using rust, rustic blings embellishments that I'm painting. And today I'm not going to wipe it back with a wet cloth. Today I'm actually going to be doing some dry brushing on top of this. Just to show you the different techniques of how to do this. You need another. So once it's painted, and it should look like this. So now I've got the darker color underneath, and then I'm going to dry brush with a lighter color over this. Who's saying what? Are they painting well? Moi man, Chantal, Swazerina, Kameas. Hi, Brenda. So, we're painting that next piece. I let it fall, so I broke it last night. This new morning? Yeah, <coughs> I saw it again. But I'm going to just um, glue it together once I put it on my box, and I promise you, you won't see the difference. Oh, but it's very nice, Momo. Okay, so I'm just giving it a basic cut of Midnight in Paris. That's the dark blue from Petit Rouge. And while you are all on here, remember this week's challenge is your living room. So you need to pick something out of your living room that you want to remake or revamp. And post some pictures on our page before Friday at 5. Last week it was kitchen revamp, so this week it's living room revamp. Still not sure what it's going to be next week. You guys must give me some ideas. Alright. So once you've painted this, obviously I need it to dry. Because there's a lot of paint in the nooks and crannies. So I'm going to take this out into the sun. Sorry mom, we must do something for the bathroom. Please, we can do that too. Not a big item like the washing drum. Something smaller. <coughs> so my cloth is dry. Mine. Yours looks like it needs another. Yes, it does. Most five minutes. minutes. Oh, I mean the second coat. Yeah. Look there. That paints well. It's very pretty. Now you have to let it dry. Yes. So this is my first cut on on my clock. This is done with minty macaron from Petit Rouge. I'm just going to give it a quick second cut. Just so that I make sure that the dark color underneath is covered. I'm going to have to paint these edges again. Excuse. I've gone over the edges, which I didn't want to do, but okay, we'll just patch it up. Is yours dry too? Yes. Okay, show the people your cup. Let's see what we're going to That's a it's first coat. It's first coat done with parchment from Petit Rouge. It's actually quite hot today. Mama, yeah. yeah. there next to you where the pants are in the liters, there's a minty macaron. Could you please pass it on for me? It's I did give it to no, you. No, that's the botanic. I don't want to mix it too close. It's not here. I gave you that other one. This is the botanique. Not there. It's not no. that green one there. No. Okay. So then we're going to go over botan with botanique. It's a brand new one. Don't you want to go and see if I maybe just left it on the table, see up here? My, it's a full pot of minty macaron from Petit Rouge. No, it is minty, minty color. So this is an old 
Um, Kribal's full top that I've done into a clock about two years ago. So now it's due for a revamp because it's been hanging in my living room. The nuts and bolts we actually added on a piece of MDF. So yeah. You are not doing your second cut, you've got a piece of wing there. That's a problem of new brushes. They tend to lose a lot of air. So what have you been up to? What have you been revamping? Tell us what you're doing. Just painting our old clocks a new with a new color, and then we're going to be doing some stenciling and some awesome transfers Not from room. the velvet attic. Um, Kim, these brushes I actually bought them in a set from from Builders Hardware. There was two different sizes of the rounds. The French tip, it's called French tip, so by the way, I don't know why it's called French tip, but it's French tip, there's three yeah. sizes, and I think there was two flat brushes in the pack, so I bought them from Builders. We can ship some out to you if you don't have a Builders, Kim. <laughs> Kim is in East London. Did you tell them? Oh, I thought they, uh, yeah, because we've got a collection and the little no, box no, 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 you don't advertise it. If they need to. Yeah, yeah but that's um, Builders Hardware. I think there were three different sizes in that pack. Is Builders Hardware open now? Builders Hardware open. No, everything yeah. is closed. So when we are of Lockdown, then maybe we can get some to you. Also, those that watched my video yesterday, Anita tried that clay recipe. She said it didn't work. So she Googled another she one. She Googled another one. I'll, I'll get the link for you guys and post it as a comment on you a bit later on once we're done. So, um, she's now using wood glue to make another one. Anita, does that, does that wood glue work? Because I think she is on. She only just got it now. Yeah, but I'm sure she's playing while well. she's watching. Okay, so, brand new tin of minty macaron. What does that look like? I actually like that. Should I take that out for you, please? I don't just think, just be careful there by the curtain. This is the parchment from Petit Rouge. <laughs> oh, she's not Islam and she's speaking. <laughs> Shall I start cutting my... Your little bunny. Your big bunny. Just show them. This is the bunny, the famous bunny from the Velvet Attic. It's a water slide transfer. That it, it's gorgeous. I eh? Kim, it's really nice. So I've got it in an A3, which is now going to be used. And then I will have a spare A4. But I can't ship anywhere at the moment because I'm locked up. So mom's going to start right cutting out the bunny for a clock. Okay, I'm going to finish painting this. Oh my, that was a fat. So for anyone wanting minty macaron in a litre, sorry guys, I've used it. But once lockdown is done, I will get some more. You 
you know you're going to have to seal your clock first, don't you? Yes. Yes. So once, before we apply the transfer, we will actually seal our project with the Petit Rouge Le Lacquer, the satin clear one. And then we will only apply our transfer. Declan is going to like this one. Yeah. How's that one? Is it? Okay, so that's just getting the second coat on. And what we've done is we've made a big stencil for these clocks. They are 58 centimeter in um, diameter. And I'll show you how they look now. Middle side and the edges. This is now done. So this is my clock with the. Oops, I must out on something here. Okay. This is my clock with the second coat of minty macaron from Petit Rouge. Leticia, you see your color. It's actually quite nice. What are you doing on the edges? Are you keeping that color? Yes. Let me just take this one out to dry. Okay, and the transfers I'm going to be using are these from the Velvet Attic. So these are the transfers I'm going to be using on my clock. Thank you, Anita. I'll, um, I don't know if you can maybe post that link as a comment now, then everybody can share it. Thank Anita you. says this recipe that she's putting on actually works better for the air drying clay. And Tell them what glue was they using, that glue that Dad uses for his binding of his Oh, no, it's wood, wood, wood glue. So yeah. this is the stencil we are going to be using on the clocks. Very Frenchy French, but it's got numbers, not Roman numerals. Okay. This part is the Alright, back to my embellishments that I've been working on. <coughs> These ones. Now I need a cloth. There isn't another one you'll have to use that. Can I use one? Yes. So now, when I want to do my embellishment, I'm going to use my minty macaroon brush. I'm drying it on an old rag, but I need to dry it thoroughly. And then I take my embellishment and I actually dry brush over it. You see the effect that it does? It actually picks up all those high points and the deep areas it leaves the dark blue thank you anita that link is for another air drying clay recipe that anita found for us on youtube so check out that video maybe that clay recipe works better so there's the embellishment i've dark dry brushed it this I'm going to put on my bones. This is a piece I actually dropped last night, so I'm going to just glue it together. The one part. You're putting that on where? On this um, um. crate of ours. So really just dry brushing it. There you go. And what I'll actually do is I'll actually um, glue it on and then only once it's dry I will actually go through and seal it everything together now where is my glue that is the next question so now I want to try and get this as center as possible is that good enough that's beautiful 
So what mom's just done is she's actually cut out the transfer as close to the edge as possible. No, but she's going to use it on a skirt. <laughs> she's going to use it on a cloth. Skirt. All right, let me just get the kids. Yeah, my hat. Would you please We've mind giving me a small brush there? We've got a visitor here today. Yeah. But we normally have to say there's a visitor. Because <laughs> she doesn't want to come onto camera. <laughs> okay, so. This is just normal wood glue. And I'm just going to take a brush, an old brush. The embellishment is flat at the bottom. So we just take some wood glue and we just put it on our embellishment. Put enough so that it can actually stick to the wooden surface. And then if you want to save your brush, you need to wash your brush after you're done or you will throw it away. You wanted this little block to do something? I did. I actually used the other block. I sanded down my clock because of the glue, glue gun. I'm not sure how far we're going to get marked because you might want to start the hair dryer for the, um, for I, the sealer. I think it's dry. Once you do the sealer. Because look, it's in, sun, in the sun. It's full sun. Yeah, so We're lucky again with the sun today. So if you want to maybe just check if it's dry. We're lucky when the sun is full, then we can actually get something dried very quickly. All right, so this should be enough glue. And now I'm going to, I'm just going to measure with the eye because um, I don't have a tape measure with me, so I'm hoping I'm going to do this right. Let's just see if I put my other pieces on. Yeah, it is spot on. Cool. All right, so I'm just pressing that to my piece, and then I'm starting with the glue of the other pieces. So, yeah. And is it still wet? Just a little bit on the one side of the end. Okay. Come in. So what have you been up to? What have you been doing? What have you been playing with? What have you revamped? Are your children doing their homework? <laughs> Cameraman. Cameraman. <laughs> no one wants to do homework. That we we so. the cameraman out for, for, for the next few videos. Weeks, yeah. In case somebody wants to do, All right. he's so glued up. <laughs> he's very glued up. All right, so this is now just the first piece. Let me just show you. I'm so worried about this paint on the edge. We're going to have the same story than last night. Oh, I see you. Um, Kim, you can use your hair dryer to dry your paint. So the um, the rain shouldn't bother you, so get out your hair dryer. Yeah, it goes quick. <laughs> and it actually goes very quick we, with the hair dryer. We did it on Friday. Yes. It was raining. It was very quick. So, yeah, you can't use that as an excuse. You better get a better one for that. Put it on I, one, two, three, you're done. <laughs> so, let's just get this out. Okay, Mom. Is the hair dryer still on the other side? Yes, I think it is. You don't need to for what? <laughs> for the sealants. No, it will dry quickly. Because we need to seal our project. So, I just want to show you, this is the piece that I told you were bro was broken. It's actually broken, yeah. But I've glued it so nicely. So, Unless your mother-in-law comes to visit, you shouldn't have a problem. <laughs> I actually just want to give it a little more support here on the side as well. 
So there we go. Oh, is yours dry? Yes. Just see. Awesome. Oh, so it's been so sun is fucking fucking today. Can I use this oh. brush for the sealant? No, we've got a sealant brush in the box. Okay. It's, unless it's the one that's not been used. Listen, I've used that now. Okay. I'll come and have a look now. Now this one is fine. Okay. Are we opening a new bottle? Yes, we are opening a new bottle of sea lamp. Because we've exhausted the one that we had opened. Oh, this is Savada by Leticia. This is the color. So it's actually Minty Macron from Petit Rouge. I need to fix the edges of it. But what I want to do is I first want to seal this circle because I want to do a transfer on it. So I'm first going to do a sealant here and then I'll do some touch ups on the side. I'm going to put this blue brush in. So are we doing that the water slide before we put the numbers on? Yes, most mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just do the stenciling over the water slide. But I haven't cut my water slide yet, so let me start working on that some. So these are the water slides I'll be using from the Velvet Attic. Yes, Judy, I'm selling the embellishments, but that was the last one. I need to get more stock from Kim. So I'm using this one that's from the Velvet Attic. It's a water slide transfer. Please don't get this bunny wet. And Mom will be using the bunny from the Velvet Attic. Hello, Phyllis. What's so, the Phyllis mm. class to see? Mm. <laughs> So I'm actually not sure should I be cutting it and yeah, let's cut it. So I want to be using these. I'm not sure if it's roses or peonies. Where are you? Hoping you guys can see what is left. So I want to use those peonies. Um, did I cover the whole thing? No, it's the edge here. You can cover the edge. Rest looks pretty covered there. Might be a piece there and a piece there. And no. Okay, then you're done. There's a piece here too. So we're just sitting with a petit rouge le lacquer. This is a satin finish. So this is what we're using. You can see your thick. Yeah, did I also think it's peonies. They are gorgeous. They are absolutely divine. So all of the water slide transfers come with instructions at the back. These are a petit rouge transfer. So it looks like that. And now I'm just going to cut it out on the edges. Mom, what were you looking for? Want me to cut it for you? Yes, see, that's all I look with. I can and act seal. Can seal. Okay. All I want to have cut is the flowers. Yeah. No leaves. Uh, yeah, this top leaf, but not those two flowers for now. Okay. And see, this it, side, it, one. Yes, that one too. It benefits if your mom is crafting with you because she can do all the cutting. Yeah, it's cheap labor. Judy, it's um, a peony flower. Yeah, we've got one bunny water slide left, Leticia. It's an A4. But we will be getting um, more stock from the Velvet Attic once we get the go ahead to go. To open and go. So, yeah. You must also let us know um, how you have been finding the tutorials. Do you want us to change anything? 
Do you want us to go away and stuff things? My studio's close to carving some nice products. Yes, Kim, you always make beautiful hand carved products. So, you need to, to let us know how are you finding the videos. And remember the living room challenge this week. This week is a living room challenge. You need to pick something out of your living room and revamp and remake it. Anything, even if you just want to tie a ribbon to something. And post your photos on our page for everybody to like and share. And, yeah. So, share with everyone, please. By Friday at 5 o'clock. Last week was the kitchen challenge, so you would see some photos on. There are more photos going on today out of from, from for kitchens. Um, Anita did a beautiful backsplash and the lantern that still needs to go on. But that's me. I've been slow in posting because I've been busy with some ideas for the crafting project. I have covered everything here. So I'm just giving it a nice cut of uh, Petit Rouge Le Lacquer, the satin finish. And now I'm just going to touch up the edges. I'll show you. You'll see on the side I've actually gone over with the green. Letitia, we will do so. So I want to touch up those sides. Okay. What is Letitia suggesting? She's saying we must let her know once we do our workshops again. So, yeah, we will do so. All right, more now. So oh, this lock over is done. Could you perhaps give me the chocolate noir? If you don't mind, immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on it immediately. I'll get it, don't worry. Okay. okay. <laughs> so what quiet you for? Yeah. <laughs> I just thought while you're busy, I'll be clip with a cut. It's all right, I've got nothing to do. I'm just oh, cutting now. Yes. <laughs> she can be very difficult as well, man. Oh, cookies. <laughs> There isn't much I okay. between us. Um, just tell me, yeah, are you happy with this? Yes. See? That's pretty. Okay. I like that thing. Let's just show them as well. This is a Peony water slide transfer. Mom was so kind to cut them out for me. I'm going to be using them on my block. I'm just sealing my project here with some Petit Rouge Lacquer. I've done an embellishment on it. It's been glued to the piece. And now I'm just sealing it. I'll show you. Now this is the box we did the crackle glaze on. At the back we used Midnight in Paris from Petit Rouge. In Monterey, And the crackle glaze. And then we used the Botanique for the lighter color. You see the cracks? Oops. And we've just done an embellishment on it. So I've just sealed it with some um, the lacquer. And now it's going to dry outside. Are you not speaking to the people when I'm with you? You know, I'm concentrating. Yeah. Oh, this is <laughs> Okay, so I think I've got enough sealant on that. All I want to do now is actually take the edge and just touch up with some chocolate noir. This is oh, the color, if I can get it out of now. So it is a black brown color. I know the light is a bit bad for it, but yeah, it's a black brown color. It's called chocolate noir. And what I want to do is actually just touch up in between these nuts and bolts. 
This is a clock made out of an old cable spool. You'll see it's not straight, it's not supposed to be straight. So I just want to touch up everywhere where I've actually gone over the line a bit. If I paint it nicely, I wouldn't have had to do this. While I'm waiting for my sealant to actually dry so we can do the water slides on them. Uh, what have you guys been up to? What have you been painting? Tell us. And remember the challenge is this week for your living room. Make over. So pick something in your living room you want to redo. And post some pictures on our page. Just to share some inspiration with others as well. <coughs> Are you winning, Mom? Yes, I'm done. I think yours should be dry now. Yes. Do you want to come past? Just want to throw this away. Okay. There is a dustbin there. Alright, so what I'm doing now is I'm touching up the sides of my clock. So it's got a nice crisp line again. So it doesn't have like there going over the edge. And I'm painting with Petit Rouge Chocolate Noir. So, is it dry? We might need to continue with this project tomorrow if it's not dry in time. But in the meantime, we've been doing really good today. Today we've been motoring because the sun was laying along. The sun was laying along. Alright. So I'm just touching up between all these nuts and bolts where I actually went over the line with my beautiful minty macaroon. Is it dry? Ooh, just okay. That's a mess. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. Just see if it maybe needs another cut more. No, I don't think so. Don't think so. Well, well, we're going to see that afterwards again. Yes, but you can see the numbers. That's why I'm saying. <coughs> I don't. Can't you see the numbers? Yeah, I think it's okay. Alright, so are you going to do your transfer now? Well, we're going to do new numbers, so. Yeah. Alright, I'm just going to put this one side this way. I'm almost done, yeah. You know, now I'll do your transfer. You so, have to decide where because the. What have you guys been doing with yourselves on lockdown? Have you been trying new recipes? I need an idea for supper tonight. <laughs> it's my turn. <laughs> and I'm running out of ideas. <sighs> okay, so we are 10 days down on lockdown. So we've got another 11 to go. So don't lose hope. Keep on crafting. Keep yourselves busy. Keep your mind busy. I know it's difficult times. It's for everybody. <laughs> so this is an old it cable It actually hasn't form. been all that bad. We did a few lovely things together. Yeah, it's been very nice. Making nice food, making cookies and rusks. <laughs> good family Cheese time. Cheese good, good family time. Yes. Alright, so I'm almost done here. Yeah. And then I'll help you there. My problem is that I'll have to go because that little thing is in the way. Okay, but we'll make a little hole. So you need to decide. No, make a hole in the bunny. Maybe at its nose. That would be. Okay, I'm taking this That's one out. Too. <coughs> you see, we've still got to put the numbers <coughs> around it. All right, Should we not stencil the numbers first? Then I've got an idea where to put it. We can do that. So this is a stencil we're using. It 
is 58. You're not going to finish this project today. We'll carry on tomorrow. Kim said she became a vegan in December, so she can't share any recipes. Kim, all I can say to you is Akshan. I'm very, very sorry for your sake. I would not be able to do that. Okay, so are we going to make a hole in the stencil then? Be careful. Mm, how are we going to make a hole? We don't have a craft knife. We, do we have a craft knife? No. But wouldn't it help you more if you just tested the bunny over this now? Because then you know exactly where to put it. What do you say? We're going to have to put the bunny over there. Thanks, Kim. <laughs> but she says she loves all our stencils. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see. If we put it there, it's going to be right there. So let's make a little mark. Actually, no. Let's not make a mark. Let's make a little dot. Because you want it to be equally everywhere. So let's make a dot there. All right. So we let's make a little... Oh, so we're going to put it on. We need to make a little hole. Maybe if you take a, um, a steak knife or... Wait. Then are you going to... I'm going to try my best, no? But once we do the transfer, we can actually make a hole in it. Too. There we go. See, Mark, a slim. There's no made a hole in the bone. Sit on Oshak Haiki. The thing is that the hole will have to be bigger than that. Yeah, but that we can always cut now. All right, so what we're doing is we're first fitting the bunny over this little middle piece for the hands, for the clock hands. Right, so that should be okay. And then the rest we can just cut away with a craft. Because how big does it need to be? Like a five cent. No, I think a little bit smaller. So then just cut it around like that. This one is also done now. Oh, it looks much better. I've actually So this is my clock after it's been there painted it. and sealed. Should do the check. Okay. So there we go. Bit more. Yeah. We just want to show you the um, transfers quickly before we sign off. And then we finish off tomorrow. And then we'll do the stenciling tomorrow. I'm going to put this in there and this over there. And all of this. Okay, I want to move these so we can move your. That's big enough, yes. We've just made a hole on the bunny's head of the transfer so that it can actually fit into the clock. I want to move this. So now we're going to do the water slide transfer and we've got a bowl of water here, I'm hoping you guys can see. And as you can see, it's quite a big bunny. It's not going to fit in my bucket. So I have a shortcut. Um, Sean, if you're watching, please don't tell the people about this. So Sean, um, this is Sean's uh, bunnies from the Velvet Attic and Petit Rouge. So what I do is I actually go into the bowl sideways and I slip the paper in so that it makes it turn. You see it makes a little twirly whirly. And I continue taking the whole transfer into the water until the ears are wet. Because <laughs> I've been standing like that. <laughs> All right, and then the water slide has been designed. The moment it goes into water, you need to have it 
standing a little bit and then it's going to start opening up now the only thing about this little is that you can't see if it starts opening up so you're going to have to taste and feel it a bit so then I start unrolling and the moment the ears come loose because this is what's now sticking out there is the ears the moment they start coming loose I know that the transfer is ready to actually use so maybe just I want to turn this little lumpy lumpy <coughs> And let's just see. Okay, so it's coming loose now. This is the bun. The rolled up bun bun. I'm going to put it through the water on the other side as well. Just to make doubly sure. Unfortunately, my this is my bigger, biggest bucket. So, yeah, you work with what you've got. And you'll see that it starts coming loose from the backing board. You see it starts moving. That's when you know it's right to use. But now, bear in mind, we need to make sure that that hole actually goes over the, stand, um, the clock. So I'm going to have to put down the first half. Ma, you're going to keep the top half in the air with the ears. You need two sets of hands for this. And then we're going to center it over the hole. And then just straight our body out. With all the pieces. So, working from the center out. Make sure that you straighten out your bunny. The bottom pieces. pieces and then remember there's a, um, a slicky part on this paper so you can actually use it to rub out I'm any bubbles about this piece because now it doesn't yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna rub it out there so then you wrap out the pieces yes and you need to make sure that your plastic is actually straight that there's no air bubbles underneath if you run out of stickiness, you get a more another piece. And that's better. There we go. This is a beautiful, beautiful bunny. So I just want to pick it up and show everyone. Just dry it with a Let's block. dry it. So we we just dry off the excess water, um, water from it. I'm not breaking stuff. He's having a ball. He's having a ball on his bicycle. <laughs> okay, so let me just show you quickly. Oh, so once you're done, your bunny should be smooth. And you see the little hole in the middle. That's where the clock mechanism is getting I would still now with the other transfer that we rub off, just make like little grass there at the bottom part where it's so. I would do that after you've stenciled. Oh, okay. I just want to quickly do this peony. Now well, let's just see if all the bubbles are out. The dustbin needs to be Yes, I know. All right, so now I want to do my Peonies, once again, they're much bigger than my actual bowl. And I want to do a piece maybe like over here. Let it go over the sides there. So I might need to cut it a bit here. So let's just mark it with my finger. And where's the scissors mark? And then I just use the scissor to cut around that edge. And it should fit in fine. Perfect. So now I want to put it, now I can't put it in that one, so I'll have to put it in this way. Just so that it can get some water. 
and actually start rolling up. I'm hoping you guys can see it. A little bit back so you can see it, right? So I'm making sure that my whole transfer gets in the water, even if I have to take out pieces, because I don't have a big enough um, bowl for this. So. <coughs> Your basin is close enough. <coughs> but I can't show the people in my basin. <laughs> Alright, so there it starts coming loose. Now, what you wanted to put it on your cloth. Uh, let's do it this way around. So it moves off from the backing paper. And then you put it down wherever you want it to go down. <laughs> Going down. Yes, and then I start pulling out the white paper backing. Slowly, slowly, no rush, just be calm and collective. And put it down. And now you're going to have to center it wherever you need to, making sure all the bubbles are out. And I'm going to take it around. Now, when you're doing things that are going around something, it always helps to make little indents with your scissor because you need to get it to fold. And you need a scissor that actually works. Yeah, scissors work. So yeah. You need another one. So you see, they're actually quite strong. They don't just break. I can actually take this off and put it back on again. So there we go, on there. This way it needs to fold in. And you've got enough time to actually work it and fold it in and get it right. Now I see I've cut on the wrong place. I think you have to cut that whole piece. Okay. No. And I just pull it out straight. I'll come and show you now once I've actually made it nice and straight fitting. Oh, you've got that little hole there. Yes. And it goes over there. So I'm just folding it like I'm working with it, as if it's a piece of material. So yeah. Every time I pull it there, it comes up. Yeah. Well, you're right. I think you cut that edge off. Yes, let's cut the edge. You can rather stencil that round part. I'm going to rather cut it off. Right, it's a piece. I can always use this piece again. I put it in the water to maybe save it. Alright. And there we go. Um, and I'll take this out here. Yeah, a piece of my paper. And uh, that's a piece of the background. Oops. There we go. If you see there's no more glue or it's going onto a rough surface like there, I just add a little bit of water. Now bearing in mind that this is a full, uh, a full top, <clears throat> it's got natural little holes in where the screws you to come. So it is going to be like that there. But yeah, that's the peony. And where are you putting the other one? The other one I'll still decide, but that I will make sure it is done by mm -hmm. tomorrow. Yes. Because we yes, are you over want a little leaf, don't you want to put oh, yeah. that Remember leaf the on piece there? of leaf that I actually left in the water? Put it on there. I'm actually just going to add it on yes. to Yes. There. And it's not wasted. I don't want that. And it the print up also can't be yeah. <laughs> All right, so I've added that little piece. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'll put it a bit closer. All right, so that's it, girls and guys, if you've been watching. That's the first water slide transfer on my clock on. And mom's clock. Mom, bring, bring your clock closer. Bring the bunny right way around. The Barney? 
uh, the poppies, what peonies. So I hope you guys have been like liking this and please remember to post your living room challenge pictures onto the page and we'll see you tomorrow again at 2 o'clock. Enjoy your day. Bye. Bye.